So we're here to talk about breakout EDU. So why would you even want to use breakout EDU in your room? Well, let's first of all relate it to just the escape room craze. If you've not been to an escape room, stop what you're doing right now and go do that. I'm just kidding. But you should make an, a date. And I'm joking. <laughs> you should make a date to go do that with family or friends that you don't get easily aggravated with because you're under a time crunch and pressure and you're in a small room or locked in with a zombie. <laughs> But the bottom line is that it is a room where you are trying to use clues. You have a time limit. You're trying to get out the door or there's a zombie on the chain and his chain gets one inch longer every minute. Lots of fun. Well, you obviously can't lock kids in a room and please don't. I taught high school. I'm just saying I'll leave it at that. So uh, we can't lock kids in a room. So the, the concept of breakout EDU was originally a wooden box. I love that box. I think I'm one of the OGs for breakout EDU. I introduced it to my whole school district. Um, whatever year that was. Gosh, it had to be like 2015 or something. So it's been a long time. And uh, the first box I had was a wooden box that Mark Hammonds, one of the founders of Breakout EDU, had his dad create in the garage. And uh, so I've asked him to send me another one of those. I'm going to cross my fingers whenever he gets a chance to make it in his little elf workshop. But anyway, um, so it, the thought of Breakout EDU was instead of locking kids in a room, illegal, dangerous, inadvisable, Instead, kids would try to break into a box and thus breakout EDU was born. And so it still is finding clues and solving puzzles. They typically break into a box and it still focuses on content. If you want to know more about just breakout EDU in general, I've done another video on that, which I will link in the description box below. But what I'm here to talk about today is the fact that breakout EDU has a digital platform. They've had one for several years now. Because uh, several reasons. First of all, maybe uh, teachers were having trouble with the locks or their school, you know, wasn't purchasing enough boxes for all the kids to be able to play at the same time. So they came out with something called Platform, and that's where their digital games live. And did you know that with like three clicks, your game, and this, this thing's possessed, I already told you I'm on a different computer, <laughs> your game can go straight to your kids in Canvas just like that, they can play it inside of Canvas. That's what I'm going to show you today. Stay tuned. So how do you find a game, get it to your students within Canvas from the Breakout EDU platform? Let's look at that. You are going to make sure, first of all, when you log into your Breakout EDU account that you have clicked on platform, which is where all the pre-built games are. And then we're going to toggle to digital. Obviously, I love, love, love the box with the locks, as I've already said. Um, but uh, in this case, if we wanted to play it in Canvas, then we need to put it in Canvas. We need a digital game. I'm going to search winter because I'm recording this on New Year's Eve, and that would be our topic for now. And this is where I had to go back and remind myself of the steps. So I want to show you what to do to get the game very easily into Canvas. Of course, your kids can come here and play it in the platform. You can come up here to where it says my account make a class and walk through. It'll show you how to make a class, how to assign your students, but I just want to keep it simple today. So how do we just take this and get it into Canvas? When I find a game I'm interested in, it'll tell me the content area, it'll tell me the recommended ages, and I can scroll down and you'll see that a lot of these are very content rich. Like you'll see games that specifically say this is science or this is math or whatever, and it's still about winter. Like this is a science game, this is a math game, and it'll tell you what standards it fits, what age group or whatever. So there are lots of content specific games. You pick the one you want. When you're ready to play with it, um, you're going to click on the highlighted link of the title, the hyperlink. And then the thing you want to do is not assign, not answer key, not bookmark. Okay. You want to go to copy. It will make a copy for you. And I've already made a copy of this one. So I'm just going to go into my account. And that copy now lives in My Digital Games. So if you go into My Account, My Digital Games, the copy you just made is right there waiting for you. And the reason you make a copy is that if you want to edit the game in any way, maybe you liked four of the locks, but not all of them, you can click and edit that game in any way you want to. But here's the trick I want to show you for getting it into Canvas. Once it's in the list of games under My Digital Games under your account, you're going to go to just Embed. And we know that if we can get an embed code, we can put it in Canvas. So I'm going to triple click to highlight all of that, or you can just highlight over it. I like the triple click. And then I'm going to control C to copy, or you can just right click and copy. Once I've got my embed code, I'm going to go into Canvas. You're going to see, you're going to see that it's going to make something that lives in Canvas right here. But let me show you how I did that. You know, I'm usually a fan of modules. So if this fits into a module your students are already doing, like a winter activities module, put it there. But for today's um, example, I'm just going to go to pages. 
It will always show your default page, which is probably your home page. So I'm just going to go to view all pages. Add a page. I'm going to call this breakout in Canvas 2 because I already made a page called that. And then remember, for embed code, you have to go over to the HTML editor and then you just paste it in. Once you save or save and publish, if you're ready for kids to see it, then guess what? The game is playable right in Canvas. Isn't that so fun? The kids can actually read the story, click the lock, and start working on it. This one has to go in order. So I'm going to click the first lock. And they can actually look at the game, enter their combination here. And if you had customized anything, they would be seeing the customized version. Is that not fantastic? Now, just a caveat here. This is not going to save results. So what your kids can do is take a screenshot and submit it to you. Or if it's just for fun, then your mission is accomplished here. If you want results, then that's where you would go back to Breakout EDU and under my account, create a class. And that's where you could, it'll show you how to register your students. It'll save results. We're doing it for fun. You could even have kids get in groups around one computer when COVID allows you to do such and they could all play on the same game. So, so, so fun. I hope this was helpful for you. Hey guys, I put my heart into these videos, so I hope you loved it. I hope you've loved all of them, but if you haven't, then make sure you go back and watch the previous videos. I'm making playlists for you all the time. So if you're somebody who wants time savers, there's a playlist for that. If you wanna gamify, playlist for that and all of my themes of my blog. So did you like it? Go ahead and click the thumb below. If you really liked it, I'd love if you shared it on your favorite social media channel. I'm at Suzy Lolly on Twitter. And then finally, my very favorite is if you subscribe. Subscribe to YouTube and subscribe on the blog. Take care.